Hi everyone. I want to welcome you to the field development planning strategy video number two towards the preparation of our field development planning masterclass training. We have a WhatsApp group where the, if you are interested in reservoir engineering or particularly the FDP masterclass course, you can use this link to join the group. Let us have uh, discussions there. We can't wait to have you. And also, please take a few seconds to click on the subscribe button, drop a comment if you have gained anything from this video and of course shower us with some thumbs up because this is going to encourage us to create more videos for the community i'm waiting okay thank you thank you for hitting the subscribe button okay in this video we are going to be looking at how the reservoir engineer works we are going to be uh, comparing the job of the reservoir engineer particularly in creating a field development plan with the jobs of other professionals who have similar responsibilities in their projects um, by now you already know that a reservoir engineer can be a couple of things depending on the scope and objectives of various projects which is involved in but i want us to look at how the reservoir engineer compares with some professionals like consultants, business analysts, and data analysts. The job of consultants is very much related to the job of a reservoir engineer. Uh, the only difference I think is that the reservoir engineer works on technical oil field information while the consultant works mostly with business information. And here I am referring to a management consultant or let's say business consultant. In fact, as a reservoir engineer, you can actually have a job role uh, of a consultant, especially when you are working with um, a technical consulting or what we call a service firm or servicing firms. Okay, to better understand what I mean by a reservoir engineer consultant, I want us to quickly look at the definition of a consultant. What do they do? A consultant is a person who is an expert in a particular field and he gives professional advice to businesses in their area of expertise. So in this case, as a reservoir engineer, you are an expert when it comes to oil field operations, field development planning. At least that is what is expected if you want to call yourself a reservoir engineer so you're going to be working with a lot of data oil field data and you're supposed to make sense out of it you're supposed to bring out um, engineering acceptable insights and then you make your recommendations with those insights this further relates um, to the jobs of a business analyst or a data analyst and that is basically because they all work with data. Data can come from uh, different areas, from different fields, but what they all do with the data is the same. Okay, let's quickly put it all together and then we can summarize and end this video. I hope you'll get the point. So a reservoir engineer is a consultant is a business intelligence analyst and is also a data analyst. Okay, I can just say that we have um, four different skills here and all of them have their work done in almost the same fashion. They all make use of three important skills to deliver their project. The three skills which are common and useful to these professionals include strategic thinking, technical proficiency, and communication skills. These are very important skills that you need to be able to perform well as a consultant or a reservoir engineer. Let us begin with strategic thinking. When you receive your project details and all the data that is available, 
you need to understand the work scope first of all and then you go on to design a workflow which is going to capture all the important areas you need to study about the asset you want to detail the data and draw useful insights that will help in your development planning where you have data gaps you'll be expected to make some sound technical assumptions assumptions that make engineering sense and are within acceptable limits this is a very important skill that you need to learn to learn it is simple you just need some information you know the things to expect what to look out for and how to find those things talking about technical proficiency this basically refers to your technical ability your understanding of reservoir physics and its dynamics as well as all the engineering tools that you know how to use tools such as petrel petrel re intersect and eclipse simulator well and uh, fluid modeling tools like pvt sim prosper and so on these are the tools that will give a very loud voice to your data it will bring your data to life and then once it begins to speak with you you listen carefully and then you'll be able to pick all of the necessary information from those data then finally communication skills this one i am tempted to say that this is the most important one but to be honest they are all equally important as a reservoir engineering analyst you are a translator you are supposed to be between uh, raw data and the end users or the stakeholders so you are supposed to understand what the data is saying you make your analysis and then you interpret it or you translate it to your stakeholders and for this to be possible your communication skills is essential you must be able to relate to stakeholders in clear terms all of the insights that you have gained from the assets through your strategic thinking and analysis and with your technical proficiency you should be able to work confidently and independently make valuable recommendations you'll be answering a couple of technical questions that will help the business side of the assets should we drill new wells how many wells should we drill when should we start drilling these wells what do we expect from each of the wells per day as regards production when will these wells or the field as a whole quit production by the time this asset quits production what will be our stand like when it comes to profit and finances is it looking good is the asset worth investing on and these are some of the various types of questions that you'll be expected to be providing answers to in your field development plan you know what that's why i'm here i am here to teach you how to use those three analytics tools discussed earlier in this video to perform these tasks and to create a valuable field development planning report okay for more information about the field development planning training please go ahead and join this whatsapp group using this link you may also send a direct email to this email address and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button if you are yet to do so see you in the next one